What's up guys? Felix from Giant Lifestyle. Right now it's uh, 12.35 on a Monday morning, Sunday night. And I was craving some McDonald's, man. So I'm at McDonald's right now. I don't know, their fries, their soda, so bomb. I prefer Chick-fil-A, but you know, it's Sunday and Chick-fil-A was closed. But anyway, also they have like this fudge Sunday at McDonald's rocking as well I wanted to talk about this which is you know think about this this I see this lady at the window right now I don't know because she's 30 40 years old I'm not sure and she has to work at McDonald's I worked at McDonald's when I was uh, 17 and I remember they started me on two-hour shifts two-hour shifts at seven dollars and 25 cents an hour and man that is nonsense first off after taxes I'm making like five bucks I got this hot oil grease splashing all over me. I was on fries, dude, fry duty. I never even got the cash register. I did the fries and I did, I made the burgers. Terrible experience. After like, I don't know, after maybe three weeks, I was like, man, I'm out of here. You had to wear these big clown non-slip shoes. I'm like, no way. What I'm trying to make is a point that I don't care how much you pay me an hour. Number one, if I don't own it, and number two, I don't care how much you pay me an hour, I'm not trading my time for a check. And I'm grateful that now I never have to do that. Got two properties, three businesses. My life's going in the right direction because I grind seven days a week. I work seven days a week. Today or yesterday, my business brought in over $500 in profit because of the systems I set up and I didn't even work. Literally, I didn't do nothing. Me and my business partner didn't meet up. We did nothing. We just chilled all day. I actually went to the gym and just did nothing. But I was actually talking to one of my clients in my Forbidden Medical Commodities program, and he was asking, I was giving him a game plan as far as like how easy he could quit his job. He said he made like two thousand dollars a month in his job, and you know he was young. And you know one of the best things I did when I was young, man, and now I you know help my parents and stuff. But when I was young, you know, when I was first up out of school at 19, they kind of gave me the, you know, pathway to, you know, you know, not have to pay crazy amount of bills. They didn't kick me out of the house. I had to pay little bills and stuff, you know, like phone and stuff and, you know, for the car and stuff. But when I was 19, and if you're 19 and you're young and your parents sort of give you a little bit of leeway, they're not making you pay thousands, they don't kick you out or you don't have crazy responsibilities. Or even if you do live on your own, but you have no kids and you could just basically rock by yourself, go for it, man take all the risk you can and even fail because you're young I mean what could really go wrong I failed I made mad mistakes from 19 to 23 hold on I'm getting my food that is hot boy Woo. okay I'm back with my McDonald's and like I was saying man God bless that lady's soul that works in that window because Especially at 12 o'clock, you got to be dealing with just crazy types of people. For $7 an hour, $8 an hour, $9 an hour, I can't even think about the number that you could pay me to stand in that McDonald's window and, you know, do what that lady just did. Not for even $50 an hour. No amount of money is worth your time, man. And I've lost big money in business. I remember just on this recent real estate deal, this contractor took me... For twenty thousand dollars, technically, yeah, like eighteen thousand nine hundred or something, but basically twenty thousand. And I'm not really worried because you know I got businesses and investments, and I closed a deal to make all the money back. And it really wasn't my money; it was you know the hard money lenders' money. But then I had to come out of pocket for that money I lost. But you know, I'm not really worried because I get the money back. But the time, no amount of money is worth a job or you know 30 40 dollars an hour if your job is paying you 20 30 dollars an hour and you're thinking how can i quit i'm telling you you're that job is getting in the way if you take all the time that you work from and it's you're no nine to five is really a nine to five my sister has a nine to five she thinks i'm crazy she doesn't want to listen to what i talk about when it comes to business but um she has a nine to five she makes like 50 grand a year she still thinks I'm crazy. Won't ask me for no advice because I guess she has some sort of ego. When I made almost sixty, almost seventy thousand dollars last month, and 
if you take all the energy you put into a job, which is not, like I said, it's not a nine to five because, you know, any nine to five usually starts at seven, goes till, you know, starts at like seven, eight and goes till five, six usually. Time you get home, it's like, a, you know, it's a full day. And if you take that time and you put it into your business, especially if you're somewhat young, you might as well do it, man. You got like literally nothing to risk. You got no family, you got no kids. You, the only thing you got is you. And you know, you could take the pain, you could take the struggle, but when you're 40 and you got everybody on your back, you really can't take no risk, you can't fail. You could fail, so fail while you got the chance to fail and set up something that could pay you, man. Because I'm telling you, think about it, you work a job and you make $5,000 a month, you could make $5,000 a month flipping medical commodities, that's a guaranteed, but maybe you don't wanna flip medical commodities and you wanna do something else then you could figure out what you want to do. But if you take your time and you quit your dumb job and you go all in on your business, you can make more than it. Most people don't think like they can't even fathom making three, four, five thousand dollars a month with their business. But you can't do it when you're working a job from seven to seven every day. By the time you get home, you got no energy. Take that energy you got and go for it. But most people won't take the advice of go for it because they're scared. Well, what happens if I go broke? Well, that's a risk you have to be willing to take. Better go inside, kill these uh, fries. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to put a like on it. Man, I will never go back to a job. I haven't had a job. July will be five years. And I'm grateful um, for the risk I took. Um, literally sold everything, was broke, had nothing. But I've been in a position where, you know, I'm financially free, I could help my family. And um, you know, looking down just when I'm 30, 40, I'll be thankful for what I did when I was 19, 20, 21. If you're young, go for it. Take a risk, build a business. A job, yeah, your family's gonna be proud of you for working a job, but it, you're gonna be proud of yourself. It comes down to you in the end. Later, guys.